one thing I noticed is how TV is really evolving and how your characters are so modern and liberal as parents. How do these women compare to the TV moms and aunts that you watched growing up? <laughs> wow. I was just thinking about um, Mrs. Brady. I mean, I'm really going back. <laughs> <laughs> and just how Lawrence Henderson, is that who it was? She was totally. just so yes. nice all the time. Always in a good mood. Even when she yelled, she was smiling. Mm -hmm. It was weird. <laughs> it was confusing as a child, I think. Yes. Well, that's the great thing I feel like about our characters as parents um, is that we get messy. We make mm -hmm. mistakes. We sometimes say or do the wrong thing mm -hmm. um, a lot. And we're still, even as adults, figuring out our lives, like our romances mm -hmm. and our careers that we don't have it all together. And that's mm -hmm. okay. If Belly were your niece or your daughter, what advice would you give her, especially when it comes to dating? I think I would just, well, I would start very young saying it's your body. You get to say what happened to it. You get to touch it. I already do that with my daughter. Um, All right. And then I, so I think I would just honestly say, listen to yourself and try not to listen too much what your friends are saying. And if someone doesn't watch what someone's feet are doing, not what their mouth is saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Those are really good. Those are good. Can't top it. <laughs> we'll even try. All right. Also, we'll, you're we'll young. It's it. not the end yeah. of the world. There will be other people yeah. that you might be into later. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't settle down too young. Yeah. I love it. I have a daughter, uh, 15. So these oh, so she's this little, yeah, this is this is the reason I I've watched this series. So the reason I'm here today is because she loves it oh. so much. So oh. this is some good oh. advice that I'll be able to pass on. And, and use them <laughs> down the line. And so what is it about this series that you think connects so much with young people? Well, it's funny. I think it connects with young people, but also I was surprised. Some of my mom's friends are mm. completely hooked on it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I thought she was going to watch it as if she were watching a teen show, but she said, oh, I was put back right on yeah. you know, in St. Therese in Quebec on this lake where we were when I was a teenager. Yes. So there's something yeah. about it that you feel like you're there again. And I think those feelings, uh, they're so strong because it's the first yeah. time you're really having them. So mm -hmm. when you can feel it again, it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's like an innocent time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you're growing and changing so much that it, I feel like a lot of us are nostalgic for that time. Mm -hmm. I think it's also a time when you can, you can really be dramatic, you know, mm -hmm. um, as, as a child, as a, as a you know teenager falling in love for the first time and the stakes are so high it's like yeah. everything feels yeah. like life and death and mm -hmm. sometimes there is life and death but sometimes just everything feels like life and death and that's always fun to watch yeah it's great to watch as a parent and realize okay it's not just in my household you know it, obviously if it's on tv if it's on uh, on prime video then it's got to be real so <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm enjoying the series. I didn't expect to, you know, as much as I did, and and Aww. actually kind of gained something from it. But I'm really um and uh, and I'm looking forward to season two. So thank you so much for your thank time. You. Today. So nice. Thanks so thank much. You.